There is no peace in holding it all in. There is no peace in holding it all in. And I say this because a lot of the times we are holding in things we should say to people and the people need said to them. Some people need to be told that they're lazy, they're lackadaisical, they're not helping themselves. They're venters and they're always venting their emotions on somebody else. So practically what you're doing is every time I show up and you're venting to me, you're cutting me with a knife of your words. And when we don't tell people what they're doing, they can't see what they're doing. Most of the time, most people can't see what they're doing to themselves. So how are they gonna see or understand what they're do, doing when they do it to you? And I say all this to say, be your authentic self. When you have a friend that's in this pattern that you don't like and they come at you in this way that you don't like every single time, it is time for you to check them. Because if you don't check them, they will continue this pattern over and over again for years and years to come because you have allowed them to continue this pattern of bullshit. And I say this because we, we are listening to a lot of people's bullshit right now. And everybody wants us to take it in, to live with it, and not really say what's on our damn mind. Say, not saying what's on my mind is not peaceful in no way, shape, or form. It is not even helpful. Because you need to hear my perspective because yours ain't right. Yours ain't wrong. It's just your fucking perspective. It's only from your point of view in life, from your environment, from your situation, from your family, from your culture. That's your shit. But understand this, if it's yours, it's yours. If you bring it to me and I listen, then don't make it mine, it's still yours. What I'm doing as a listener is I'm taking it in to understand the proper response from my perspective. So then I can tell you the response that I, how I would respond to the situation. And it's damn sure not the way you go respond most of the time. I'm not that nice of a guy. I know that, but sometimes I am. But that's the reason why we have these conversations. So I can hear your perspective from your point of view in this life. Not just give you mine, I wanna hear yours because I can learn from you. Rule number nine says we can learn from anybody that we touch or come in contact with if we're open enough to see not just with our eyes, but are we listening? Are we using all of our five, five senses to actually listen? Listening is not just about listening with your ears. It's about what you see, what you smell. How, this per how is this person coming off at you? How are they speaking to you? And then responding accordingly is putting all that together from your own point of view and giving it back to them in a helpful package, I would say. Sometimes it doesn't look helpful. Sometimes it's like a shitty package. That's what it is at times. But at all times, the intensive way is to adapt and flow. And you can't flow if you don't know. This is Coach. Peace.